Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Wazi Circus Radio, the show where I sit down with the most amazing people that I've met in over a decade of professional skydiving. Uh, dude, I just listened to that swoop at the beginning of the podcast. I know that's loud and obnoxious, so I'm going to change the intro, guys. I'm sorry about that. That's a little hardcore. All right. My guest today is the skydive equivalent of Indiana Jones, Maldives, Dubai. I trust this person. They are my standard for designing Wazi Circus Adventures. I'm like, yo, will Jones enjoy this or not? Because like, if not, it's not fucking worth doing, right? But if, if I can see a smile, this is, motherfucker is traveled. They skydive. They're beast mode, son. Wendy Jones. Wendy motherfucking Jones. <laughs> Who the jefe? Yo, how much fun was Costa Rica, son? Oh, man, it was dope. I had the time of my life, man. Oh, my God. Can't wait for the next one. And you stayed. Like, mm-hmm. this motherfucker will go on an adventure and not leave. <laughs> like, everybody <laughs> else, we flew home. She's like, I'm going to stay there two weeks, son. This is cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Yo, so you went to the v- volcano. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and sat in those uh, natural hot springs, you know, where it comes out of the earth. And, like, I went to, like, put my toe in it or whatever. And he's like, no, 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 no. It, it, will, it will scald the skin off you. It'll boil you right alive as it's really? coming out of the volcano. Yeah. And they make, they guide it like down, they build these little stone pathways for, so it can flow and cool off and uh, oh, wow, and then right. you get in it. You cover yourself with mud and you get in it. You cover yourself with mud? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> that's what that's they do. What you, that's what you do. Right, yeah. Right. And it's clean mud? Like how do you know it's, it's volcanic not mud? Oh. It's supposed to have like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's got poop in it. Sure. <laughs> the poop. I was just thinking about bugs and worms or something. You said poop. <laughs> it's poop mud. It's good for your skin, so it brings out the glow. <laughs> hey, okay, so in um fucking what is it? Wolf Creek, Pagosa Springs, they have natural the natural uh, heated pools. Does it smell like egg there? Is it sulfur? Does it smell like sulfur? I didn't smell sulfur, no. Uh, the volcano. Okay, so it goes to springs. It smells like it smells like ass. Really? But it feels really nice. But, yeah, the whole town is fucked. It's a great place to snowboard and ski. Ding. All right. <laughs> Yo, Maldives. Mm-hmm. What was it like? Well, um, surprisingly not lush. Like, I was picturing something that would be lush like Costa Rica, you know, surrounded by water and then, you know, this sort of tropical paradise. But I guess the sandbars, that's it. it. They're just sand. So you can't, like, grow anything in it. And everything Uh. is shipped in. So um, there's nothing anything, like, too much fresh, you know. Right. And also it's Muslim. (laughs) And, you know, I'm uh, I'm not out here hating on anybody doing anything, but you can't drink or walk around in a bikini or. Oh wow! For a, yeah, for a woman, it's completely yeah, different than what yeah. I was thinking. It's it's, I it's thought it was for real of, Muslim. I thought it was India, isn't right. it off of India? I am an idiot. I, I was like, I'll so the Maldives is like twenty-seven tiny little islands and a few privately owned islands. Like Hilton owns one, and you can drink all day on right, Hilton. Right, They'll right. get you whatever you want. It's like two grand a night, you oh, know, wow. or something. But yeah, wow. Uh, but. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, different countries have, like, one, like, different tiny... Oh, well, really? Yeah. So it's like a French Maldives, maybe yeah, an Italian yeah, Maldives, exactly. an Arab Maldives. Okay, and the drop zones on the Muslim Maldives. That, it's all Muslim, I think. Okay. You know, what country is the Maldives? Is Maldives its own yeah. place? I'm so sorry, Maldivians. But <laughs> it... I, so I'm not even sure how it works either, because I guess it's just, like... Because, yeah, like I said, Hilton, like, owns. Private Island owns one of them. And then there's different flag. I don't know how it works. It's kind of right. like the United Arab Emirates is one country, but Dubai is is one, right. and, Abu and Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi is another. Is his own deal. Yeah, so but they're, they're like together though. So states within the country, probably something like that. I'm not sure how that works. That doesn't sound very circusy. No, oh no, it's not. Because. Oh, that sucks. I saw the picture, and I was like, yo, Wendy Jones, that's it, but it's not it. It's gorgeous, but, like, oh, oh and the food is awful. Oh, kind of like cur- the Grand Canyon. They eat curry for breakfast. And oh, shit. Ew. And they, and they wear, you know, the... Oh, the hajiz. All the vestments, so, you know, the, the smell is... That's the Maldives right there. What we got? Indian <laughs> Ocean. See, I knew it was India. It's south of India. Uh-huh. Oh, well, it don't matter now. We're not going. <laughs> so where should we go next? Well, I was thinking, what about Morocco? Okay. Because I think you mentioned that 
on the last trip. I'm told, or, or Egypt, man, they'll let you skydive the pyramids now. I know, that's gonna be, that's out of our wheelhouse right now. I don't know how to navigate that. With, you know, a group of fucking a bunch of foreigners, and I've never been there. Costa Rica was easy because it's America. Sure, yeah. You know, going to Africa, we might enslave you. <laughs> Things could get weird, you don't know. It could get weird. Oh, that was a bad, I'll probably edit that out, that was terrible. <laughs> hey, um, but is there a drop zone in Morocco, or will we just be going to Morocco? Um, I think there must be, there must have been why I picked it, because okay. it was like supposed to be one of the more friendly, like western friendly Muslim countries. Um, Still no alcohol, though. I don't know, there was alcohol in Dubai. Right. But. I know, um, I heard the instructors in Dubai said it was weird, like you can't drink, but you can what about, I mean, South, Central America is, this, is, this is a bomb. good, there's Tulum. I'm about to check out Tulum in October. We were trying to go in November. Our uh, timeshare dude, George, fell through. So George, mm -hmm. we're waiting for George to get his house together. I guess he's remodeling. I heard Tulum's pretty badass, and there's a DZ there, and they have a yeah. caravan. So yeah. shout out to, to, to Tulum. We are coming eventually. Um, what, we're not going to Tulum? <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to Tulum eventually. <laughs> um, Costa Rica was cool because of the, because Costa Rica's fucking just oh my it, god. Yeah, it's got everything. I everything love everything about it. Possibly yeah. needed. I kind of want to keep it secret because I do not want to see y'all. Right. <laughs> I don't want to wait on the plane, man. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Like, can we pull up any uh, one of the jumps, man? Uh, how many did you get? Uh, three or four. Yeah, so you guys, the trips aren't really about skydiving. You know what I mean? They're about the adventure, mm -hmm. like everything that goes along with it. We just try to jump every day that we can, and then we go do cool shit. Mm -hmm. And, I, I, you know, we got shit to do. That was the waterfall day. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I've, of course, as you are well aware, I'm very passionate about skydiving. But um, So my life's ambition, what I want to do with my life, the thing that will give me meaning, is I want to jump at every drop zone in the world. Like mm. in the whole world, mm. and so just the, um, the doing the work of making that a thing, and, but it's about so much more than skydiving, you know. Yes. And I feel like that's true of skydiving in general. It's about so much more than skydiving. There's community. Right. There's adventure. There's discovering. There's the self discovery. There's that like journey because when you really get i've never met a skydiver that, that became licensed that tells the truth that said they weren't scared you right. know like terrified, terrified and did it anyway and Ooh. then the journey that that is starts you on and the, and it, go, it gets you thinking like well what else then in my life what right. else what else what, what the fuck else? else like you said the person you were when you started mm -hmm. that's not who you are now right when you get here Holy shit, what a journey. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm in mean, awe of people that are terrified about, like, you know, when I was doing tandems, they're so scared. First time on a plane sometimes, mm -hmm. but they still jump. Could you do that? That is so rad. It got you know on a I plane, mean? and but never landed with one. Right. You know, I can say that about helicopters. I've done it, at least 50 helicopter jumps. Right. Never landed in a helicopter. I don't think I've ever landed in a helicopter either. And I've got about that's 50, so rad. Don't jumps. you love that's that that's true? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, we had a helicopter. Michael Costa Eric. Rica? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah right? I remember that. Did, where'd you get your jumps? You just got them randomly over uh, the years? Yeah. I, I did one oh. in Puerto Rico. I did a couple in Puerto Rico. Oh, I did a couple. Oh, Puerto Rico was the shit. Uh, yeah, We're going man. back to Puerto Rico, out of mm -hmm. uh, the, You know, the hurricane fucked them up. But then, luckily, Trump went down there and threw them all some toilet, uh, some paper towels. And I fixed that thing. <laughs> and I think they're back up and running now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what a good time. Oh, yeah. So... Maybe this is like some hillbilly thinking, but <laughs> I come from a long line of white trash. <laughs> I love white trash. <laughs> my best friends are all white. <laughs> I never, how do you think I know how to shoot? Right? <laughs> um, we don't have to leave the Western Hemisphere. Like Central America, the Caribbean, we've got mm -hmm. everything we fucking need from here, the Grand Canyon, all the way, dude. This is, I don't really want to, yeah, Europe. I kind of want to go to Europe just to do it, but not, there's so much shit to explore. Australia, here. except, uh, yeah, except it's expensive. It's so expensive. And uh, luckily, South America is not right now. Yeah, right. You know? Right. Um, 
I want to go. So Costa Rica is a staple now. It's mm-hmm. part of the Wazi Circus adventure. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we got? All right, all right. So this is dope. All right, so let's talk about this shit. <laughs> Yo, Costa Rica, man. So um, mountains on one side, ocean on the other, palm, palm oil tree farms beneath you. We're on some cartel like land. I don't want to say cartel. That's weird to say. It's some private airstrip weird place mm-hmm. with a drop zone that's pretty rad. Totally rad. Totally rad. There's See that right there? If you're looking right now, there's a river, and on the river, there are crocodiles. And it's a bikini <laughs> jump. It's a bikini jump with the girls of the trip. <laughs> now, this is hilarious. Uh, Lauren, who's one of my favorite. There's, this is a Lauren, Lauren, Wendy jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So one of the Laurens, one on my right, one of my favorite people, um, She's having camera issues as we get out the fucking door. And if you guys see, I guess we might need to fast forward a little bit. Um, so the exit we designed, Winnie's going to crawl out and hang backwards off the strut, right? So she she turns out, hangs backwards. She puts her feet. Here we go. Watch where she crawls out. Winnie Jones. All right. She puts and she swings back. No and here's problem. Lauren. Lauren's like, hey, is my camera on? No, oh, we got to rewind it. Is it on oh, now? How oh, about God. now? Can we is it on it? now? Rewind a little bit. Rewind a little Wait. bit. Rewind a little bit, Mom. Rewind a little bit more. <laughs> Watch. Because she fucking asked me before she goes. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep She's going. asking All you right. right there. So right here, as if I don't know how to work a fucking... Is it on? I'm like, nah, that shit's not on. No, it's not on. <laughs> and so she goes to Sergio. It's like, like fucking... She, she wants a second opinion. I just said your camera... He's, she's like, no, it's not. Look, she's still... Fu- <laughs> Wendy's hanging over the ocean. I'm just, like, let's fucking go. We still got to crawl out, man. Anytime, yeah. Uh, look, yeah. So she's uh, bullshitting. She's going rear float for the first time. <laughs> That's beautiful. Hey, rear float's a hard position, too. Mm-hmm. So, look, you guys, we're flying further and further away from this fucking tiny-ass airfield. <laughs> this is Lauren Bochick. I think she got hurt recently. Yeah, she shattered her femur. Oh, man. And she's the funnest person to jump with. Look yeah. at her face. Wee! Ah, that's, that's my dog. Yo, that's what kind of it feels like. <laughs> so, that was a sit fly rollout over the ocean. Boom. All right. I think my camera flipped upside down. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Give me the doc. Give me the damn doc. All right. Boom. There's Wendy Jones. There's Lauren Fuller. Mm-hmm. Man, that was a good jump. But, yep. you know, it's a Cessna jump. So we're at 85. We got to get the fuck out of there. Yep. Boom. It's over. And there's a river full of crocodiles. <laughs> and right next to it's our airstrip. <laughs> but, hey, uh, like a quarter mile away, there's another airstrip. People that say velocities don't open well, look at that. Let's watch that <laughs> shit again in slow-mo. You see that shit? Y'all just don't fly the openings, man. All right. Boom. God, it's beautiful. Costa Rica was wonderful, man. Mm-hmm. What an amazing trip. Yo, so there's more trips coming. Boom, how many jumps you got, Wendy Jones? I'm trying to get to 1,400 by the end of the season. I'm like 1,330-something. So you're deep now. Oh, yeah. Right? Like 1,000 jumps, you begin learning, I believe. Mm-hmm. About 1,500 you're fucking deep <laughs> because you've started going off in the way you want to go. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, you're either swooping, you're either tandem, you're either a wingsuiter or a free flyer. Now, that's what you do, don't you? Well, do you well like I think best? I might be getting into dynamic now because, you know, I've been working yeah. with Dusty every mm-hmm. week for right. a couple months now. Cause I was, Shout you out know to what, Dusty Shaw. You know what finally did it? I was like, Aaron and Danielle, Daniela and Evan and them, uh-huh. like, seeing them, Aaron was couldn't go on my thousandth jump my, to celebrate Dubai. He could right. not go on that jump because he was on AFS. Right. All right. So a year later or two. Those motherfuckers jumped their faces off. You know what? Fuck them, though. Because <laughs> hey, I've been yo. in this for seven years. Yeah. And I'm like, right, right. damn it. I'm going to the tunnel now. Right. But but di- how long have you consistently fucking showed up at the tunnel like they, they, oh, they no, don't not at all. Lunch. Not at all, yeah. You know what I mean? They, everything they've got, I'm surprised they're not evicted from their fucking homes and lost their cars because <laughs> they're at the tunnel all the time. But they had goals to get good together, mm-hmm. right? And they're all trying to keep up with the San Angelos, which is impossible to keep up with the San Angelos, mm-hmm. you guys. That'd be Evan and Daniela. Shredders. Thank, thank God for Evan and Daniela, man. They have mm-hmm. taken Lone Star to the next step. You see how they got the building painted and shit? Mm-hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. It's Remodeling gorgeous. the drop zone, guys. It's going to get good, man. It's getting better. Yo, but you have to, like, 
focus. Somebody told me the other day. Um, yeah, that's absolutely 100% true. They were listening to the Dakota Meyer podcast, and Dakota was like, man, I just had to go all in and, and get it done. Yeah. Right? And that's what, you're, yep. that's what it takes. Yep. You got to make that decision and say, fuck it. You know, fight it for however long you want to, and then go to the tunnel. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. It's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> It was already to shatter your dreams, but uh, so that's the way it is. And it's kid. more expensive now, and it's hard to get in, and your favorite coach is on vacation. I know, man. But it's the learn fast button. It's like learn now button, right? But it's... And maybe with some of the, you know, really more advanced stuff, it's possibly the only way, because I don't know how you're going to spend the kind of skydive time and get those... Those fine-tuned skills. I mean, maybe it's right. possible. I don't know. But tunnel. Yep. There are natural shredders that have done nothing but skydives and that are that can, but they've got 10,000 jumps, man. Mm -hmm. 8,000 jumps, 7,000 skydives, mm -hmm. you know? All right. Tunnel. Tunnel. <laughs> Fucking tunnel. Uh, so right now, I've got four bolts in my foot. I don't know you can see this shit. I've got a boot on. Oh, I broke my foot on the glass, man. The tunnel will get you, man. I don't know. The tunnel's dangerous. <laughs> I fucking love the tunnel. I'm driving the tunnel right now. That's a new pit of hell. That's a new depth of hell. Oh, you have no idea. Sitting there just driving, watching people fly, watching people do what you want to do. Imagine being a little kid that loves chocolate cake at a chocolate cake factory. You got to watch. See, she's the one we talk about it. <laughs> driving the tunnel sucks. So next time you guys go to the tunnel, <laughs> wave at the driver. No, he's not happy. <laughs> he may be smiling. He's not happy, son. All right, I'm done with talking about the tunnel. <laughs> so you're off the net, head down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got to bring this up. You got fucked up with me in the tunnel one. Yeah, we got some history there, yeah. but it was just like, I feel like a lot of it has to do with, um, I wasn't r ready to, to do the stuff I was doing and uh, from a body awareness point and also from a mobility standpoint. I At that point, I was carrying about 50 pounds more than I am now, mm -hmm. and you know, that, that makes a huge difference, of course. Uh -huh. And then... Um, to have something happen and it's like i should have been better on my bailouts i should have been better on my back probably right um yeah. but uh you know that was a setback mostly psychologically because yeah. now i'm like oh tunnel super scary timid. well you'll get fucked up in the tunnel mm -hmm. people don't believe it man you i mean i love it i fly ting but yo seriously like shit happens really fast it does, but also I think you get to a certain point, and it's mm -hmm. kind of like skydiving is no matter what happens, you'll be all right. Yeah, you get yeah. it. it. Once you, you get to bail. a certain point, because, because you, can, you bail. can bail. Exactly. And there was a wave when you were coming where we were putting people through. We were trying to get skydivers through, get them mm -hmm. through, get them through. And I remember we were, we were on the net. Um, it was head down, and then I think – we kind of flared forward, and your mm -hmm. head came up, and you went belly, mm -hmm. and went up, and just, oh, just went up toward the door, and then tried to roll, yeah, and then hit the glass. Your knee hit the glass, yeah, it was and you nasty. already had a bad, you already had a bad knee because <laughs> you're a black belt in Taekwondo, <laughs> right? And right? I torn my ACL, right? And that's actually what got me into skydiving, kind of weirdly. Um, okay. I uh, had a complete ACL tear and while kicking ass. Yeah, 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 kind of literally. And <laughs> no, you know, literally. it was just in a training, <laughs> just a certain acceleration times a certain twisting motion, pe second per second per square inch. You know, oh. and there it goes. And so it was like a, 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 a what, was it like some kind of kick you were throwing, and your knee was planted and you twisted. I was doing a side kick. And um, you do a flying side kick up with a jump and then land and then turn. Um, but become and you know, get to the end of the line so the next person can go. But I was thinking land turn and was turning oh. as I was landing, which is not what you want to be doing. Yeah. How, long, how long was the recovery? Um, nine months, the surgery, nine months, physical therapy. And my doctor said, um, at the end of the nine months, he said, okay, we're done, you know, you'll have to wear this brace, but do whatever you want now, including Taekwondo. And I said, oh, it's the first day of my rest of my life. What am I going to do? I'll do a skydive. I'll do one skydive. Right, right, right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Be because healing is dark, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that it's was... a hard time. Uh, that whole time in my life was as dark as it's ever gotten, and I hope it never gets any darker, because at that same time, 
I was living with this guy that I thought he's the one. I'm going to mm. spend the rest of my life with this guy. Maybe we'll have a family. You know, right, maybe we'll right, do right. all that. I didn't really want to, but I didn't know I didn't want to at the time. Right. And um, I was like, this is the guy. But he was an electrician, and just like today, back then, um, they were working 14, 16-hour jobs. I mean, a whole bunch of construction-type right. work in Austin, for sure, um, making great money, but just working himself to death. Right. And um, one day, he is at work, and he's just like, can't even go anymore. And they said, here, have a little bit of this, and, you know, you'll, it'll put some pep in your step. And it was meth. Mm, and no yeah yeah and six months later he he's, set himself you know, on fire yeah and it sucks yeah and so that all of that was going on at the same time of the injury at the same time of the fit therapy oh fuck the same time that i got released the same time i did my first jump and then when i realized did my first tandem f- fell in love did my second tandem to make sure and right. um yep i'm sure and then um started aff and uh, hold, on, hold on before before we go forward um, did you think you were going to go back to Taekwondo as soon as you healed? Was that your passion? Like, I can't wait to Taekwondo again? Or were you like, where's my life now? Well, that was the thing. The I, I thought I, I... black belt, how long did that take to Yeah, take? well, third degree black belt. And I had trained for 20 years yeah. at that point. And because um, I started real young. And um, I thought, well, of course I'm going to go back. That's the whole point. Um, but And I did go back briefly, but skydiving, it got me. So it where got was that, me. Where was that first tandem? Uh, uh, Lexington. Yes. Yeah. Fucking Cecily Ketchum. Yeah, Check her out. yeah. So uh, how did you find Lexington? How did this, do you like, I'm going to go Groupon. skydiving. Groupon, yeah. And you said, fuck it, and Groupon popped up. Mm-hmm. And that's, see, that's so funny. Groupon works, fuckers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And then what was that drive? See, we didn't know. You don't know. You don't fucking know when you're right. going on your first skydive. Yeah. You just don't know. Yeah. So you show up for a tandem. Mm-hmm. And there's guinea hens and donkeys and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. There's alpacas. I'm like, oh, this is skydiving, this I guess. Is- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I believe if you start an environment like that, you'll never leave the sport. Right. For the right. rest of your fucking life. Right. There's 100%. no way. <laughs> you can't see magic and walk away. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, That's right. Uh, okay, so you show up at this fucking place. Cindy owned it then. What year was this? 2014. Cindy owned it. Mm-hmm. I wasn't out here yet. It's two years before I got out here. Okay, cool. Um, so we go. We do that. It. Um, Who'd you go with? You I went with... Homeboy? with I went with my friend, um, Abi, who, mm-hmm. okay, I want to go back to Taekwondo for a second. Yes. I got him into Taekwondo, uh-huh. got him started in it, just said, try class one day, comes a black belt. I got my sister started in it. I was a second degree black belt when she started as a white belt. She is now today a fourth degree black belt. She outranks me. Holy shit. Your yeah. little sister? My big sister. Big sister. Um, she outrings me, and even if I were to, you know, really focus and study hard and get that fourth degree, which I'm, I'm that's too much work. I'm, uh, I'm busy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a life to live, dog. But for, even if I did, mm-hmm. she would still outrank me because she got it first. Wow. And white belt when I was a second degree black belt. Wow. I know. But, well, yeah, but I'm happy to touch people's lives and see them take off like that. Have you invited them to jump? Oh, there's no way. Uh, Abby did. He actually went yeah, on my he, first. Yeah, your first guy I've, at a- Lexington. And he's like, I'm good. Was he on the plane <laughs> with you? Again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. And um, Who's your instructor? Uh, Jason, you know. Yeah, Jason. no fucking yeah, yeah. Jason. He did your jump. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. He did both of them that I did there. Okay. Um, And then uh, my friend Tammy. Okay, now this is kind of a sad story. I had a friend, Tammy, who um, also got to come and do a skydive with me. And um, she's married to a man who holds several patents on communication uh, devices. And so they're very, 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 very mm-hmm. rich, and which is fine, you know. Yeah. And they had, like, five him. kids. God bless them, yeah. And one of the, the oldest kid decided that he wanted to join the military and go to Afghanistan. And something happened. What an honorable dude. yeah. But something happened to him over there, and nobody really knows what, but he came back, and he didn't make it. He had to check out. And so she mm. was pretty, like... Yeah, she was fucked up. ...torn up about that, and she was just like, I'm going to go and do this with you for him because it had just happened. Uh-huh. And uh, her son's name is Ethan, which is not a super common name, uh-huh. but um, should we go to get her harnessed up or whatever? And the guy that is um, her instructor, her not her instructor, but this the the helper. I don't know yeah, what yeah, you call the, him to, the to gear him up. The ground yeah, guy, yeah. yeah. 
um, he goes, hey, my name's Ethan. How are you? Oh, fuck. Yeah. How'd and she do? She break down? We broke down immediately. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, like, she it's did powerful, it. powerful, man. Yeah, and she did it, you know, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, didn't get her like it got me, but. Um, yeah, she had too much going on. Dude. It didn't get, it doesn't get everybody anyway, but. Um, it does in their own way, but mm-hmm. not from what we got out of mm-hmm. it, You know, but it got her. But, um, yeah, she she felt like that was totally a sign. Enough. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, doing tandems. Like, people don't jump for fun, man. People don't go do tandems for fun. It's always, in a, well, f- it's for fun. But I'd say 80, 75% are events, life events. My dad died. My grandpa died. Mm-hmm. He was a uh, paratrooper. Mm-hmm. You know? It's really heavy shit. Um, you just healed from some dark shit and homeboys going through it. You're there for a jump. I had my own reasons for skydiving, you know? And it was like, it's it's... Well, skydiving rescued me from yeah. my dark shit. It because, saves you. Because I was, you know, balls deep in the codependent enabler relationship with the yeah. drug addict. Imagine and, if you didn't jump. Uh, you know, because I remember clearly, vividly, the day, sitting at Skydive San Marcos, taking my AFF list, right, waiting to take the written. Cassandra Day's over there taking Little her. Cassie Day. Cassie no Day. shit. Yes. She was there, too. Love She's you, taking Cassie her Day. D license written. Okay. I'm waiting for my A license, a license written. yeah. And get a call. Williamson County, Chaz has been arrested again. Come bail me out. And I'm like. Nope. Mm-mm. Fuck that. This I'm is not, your I'm A out license? Here doing, yeah. I'm out oh. here doing me. You know, you can do you in Williamson County Jail. You're and, lucky. Yeah. That was the universe giving you that yeah, timing. Yeah. Any other time you might have went, but at this moment, fuck you, I might have never gotten out of that no, cycle of misery. That you moment know? of getting your A life, that's a huge achievement. Mm-hmm. That's like getting your, gra- you're on stage at a graduation and somebody's like, yeah, your ex fucking is over here doing something. You're like, that's my ex, doggy. Good for you, Winnie Jones. Good for mm-hmm. Salud. <laughs> bueno, mama. Mm. Yeah, so... My, the second book I'm working on is called It Was the Sky That Saved Me and it's mm-hmm. the truth right like like I was saying before I was just drinking beer and paying bills I had no idea what the fuck my life was gonna be and I went and made that first jump and uh, I didn't want to skydive dog but I was at such a point in my life I was like fuck it. what else what could possibly go fucking wrong who cares like mm-hmm. everything's fucked up anyway you know? like I'm not you know I'm working in restaurants I didn't really have a future well, I what got made in you trouble do it a guy I know named Steve fucking Page, crazy ass Steve Page. Um, I was working at this high end restaurant, most money I'd made up until that point in my life, like kind of a respectable position as this sommelier waiter dude. Like, and um, I had a little cash, and dude put up, oh, it's my birthday, I'm gonna go skydiving in two weeks. And everybody signed up. Oh, skydive, yeah, it was cool. And like a week later, he's like, all right, I need the money for the deposit, we're going skydiving this Saturday. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> like, that's stupid. He's like, well, I put in my mom's car, so you got to pay me anyway. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to lose my money. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Jackie wouldn't fucking jump, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That was a crazy experience. Well, what's fascinating to me is you, it got you, th- it got you yeah, right then. Got yeah, me, got man. you. Yeah, I know that. But Jackie, well, Jackie was like, I don't need to do this again, ever. <laughs> no, she's got, she got, <laughs> she's got five or six oh, right. with me. <laughs> Yo, she was so scared. So, you know, the 182, it goes by weight on exit, right? So my buddy was bigger than me. So Steve went, then I went. You know, we, we were IED. We weren't AFF. Okay. I we were, um instructor assisted deployment static line with the guy holding your pilot chute at so what altitude three five what three okay. three <laughs> why well, you open the door at three five and the plane starts descending right what? so that's time you fucking get out you're <laughs> like at two two <laughs> and you gotta crawl out okay so you dude i've been instru- i'm an ied instructor i love teaching it i love teaching it it's the best way to uh, fucking it's the best way to learn how to skydive uh, i believe kurt Bartholomew used a fucking ied inst- i mean like some of the best supers in the world are IAD students, not AFF. Because all we do is let go of the wing and land our parachute. That's all that's in our head for like 10 jumps. That's it. You let go and go, ah, and then they let you go like this, but you're just landing your parachute, right? So door opens, you put your feet on the step, you grab the door, and you sit there. And this is your first skydive. So the wind's like, <laughs> you're like, oh, my God, right? The plane, the door and shit. And the guy's grabbing your pilot chute, and you got to wait. And he tells you, okay. 
and then you get down the strut, kind of like he is. Look, that's IED on the book cover. Oh. Right? You crawl out on the strut, and you hang down. Look, <laughs> he's kicking him out. Look, <laughs> you hang down, right? You hang down, you look up at your instructor, you say, okay, you put your head back, and you let go an arch. You count to five, and as the student let go, the instructor throws the pilot chute, and it pulls your parachute immediately. Mm. I, I hold it until I pop your pin. I pop your pin, mm -hmm. I see your lines getting stretched, and then I let go, because I need to make sure you got a fucking pin. I've seen some guys do some crazy shit. Right, so I pop <clears throat> pins now. Like, so let me go back to the sequence. You crawl out, you hang down, <laughs> look at the instructor, head back, let go. <laughs> Jackie's terrified. <laughs> she, <laughs> listen, there's grip tape on the fucking strut for you to put your hands over grip. She's gripping it like this with her chin on the grip tape, right? <laughs> and like the book, it's like so. <laughs> Her feet are on the step. She's on the strut grip like this. And the instructor, Jack Miller, buddy Jack Miller, is trying to kick her off the step because, like, the plane can't land with her out there. And we're getting further away from the drop zone. Like, the spot's deteriorating, right? So he's kicking her, kicking her. And finally, he, like, throws her off the plane. And the grip tape just scrapes her cheek because she wouldn't let go. <laughs> Jack. Hey, but we read her book. We read her book today. It said, it said you need to let go or something. And it was like. <laughs> you need to learn to let go, Jackie. <laughs> and it was like. Don't get attached. Ar but it was like great arch, great landing. Right? Because she fucking opened up and she landed the parachute. Me, I didn't flare at all. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I fucking smacked into the ground and I swear I had grass in my teeth. Like I hit the ground, son. But I stood up like, fuck yes. That was it. She was like, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and back then, um, IED jumps were only fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. As thirty bucks, they were thirty bucks. That's how I could afford to skydive. Thirty bucks because there's no instruction. Literally, they'd be going up on a tandem, and like at three thousand, they kick the door open, you crawl out, and they pop your pilot chute. No radio, nothing. They called us the stepchildren. It was just thirty bucks, man. Get on the plane, man. It was our, um, it was our slot, rental, and pack job. It was only thirty bucks, and that's how I learned how to skydive. So, how does that work in terms of, um, like getting your license? Getting a, how does the U.S. pay look? Twenty-five skydives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look at your book. I mean, uh, I I like the program. Mm -hmm. I, I I swear, especially with tunnels, like literally, literally, I I prefer it over AFF. Hmm. Okay, because in the Wazi Circus program, I require 20 minutes, 30 minutes of tunnel time with me, right? It does make a lot of sense to do, like, to do all those skills in the tunnel, tunnel to learn all, all those free fall all skills in the, t before. I mean, free yeah. fall skills. Yeah. There's no reason to go up there and, and not learn. be sure if you can be stable on your belly. So most of my people can back fly by the time we jump. Which Some of them can head smart. down, right? Yeah. Some people, yeah. like Jeff Gowie, was already sit flying before we made our first skydive. Right, so it's like um, we do that time back flying. They pull the rig and shit in the tunnel. So now all I want them to do is land the parachute. You don't have to think about pulling or altitude or checking in, check out, none of that shit. Crawl out, let go of the plane like four times, land the parachute. That's all you have to think about is your pattern. That's all you think about, right? Listen, it's just crawl out on the wing. <laughs> How much is that, right? Well, hang down, let go. So about six jumps in. You take a five second delay, throw your parachute, 10 seconds in, I mean, then a 10 second delay, and then we do a two way, and then you're done. <laughs> Go do 20 jumps, you know? And you, you know, 19 jumps, you get your license. But they're already beast in the tunnel. The, the tunnel does all of that. Um, the AFF program, it's more fun, I think. Because I got them on their second jump, they're doing front flips out the door, 360 dock, barrel rolls and shit. Because they've already done it in the tunnel, mm -hmm. right? And I just re grip. Anyway. So you learned at San Marcos, the old San Marcos, mm -hmm. when it was Skydive San Marcos. Right. That was under the Illingsworths. Mm -hmm. I loved it then. Yeah. Yeah, that, it, was, it was pretty, it was pretty rad drop zone. Big then. Eric was the yep. manager, right? He's, yeah. Yep, he, served me, he sold me my first cobalt parachute, man, my first small little thing. Uh, we had a pool back mm -hmm. in the day. Y'all remember the pool. Lauren Gallic landed in it. Gallic. Gallic. Lauren. How the fuck? Do you land in the pool? <laughs> no shit. On an AFF jump. Dog, like it was. It wasn't like a pool outside in the middle of a field, son. It was in the middle of a fucking building. There was a hangar and a 
building. There were buildings. Like a walkway and some hot dogs or something. <laughs> she landed in the pool, son. If she didn't land in the pool, she was dead. Man. Hey, Nick Nuts. Is it true um, he yeah. swooped it and drug a toe? I believe it. I believe about anything about that guy. Yeah. Funny story about that guy. We were in Santa Cruz on a Wazi Circus adventure. I don't know if I should tell the story. I'm not going to tell the story. Um, is, it, is it PG-13? Yeah, it is. I don't know if he wants his... his I don't know if he wants his business. Oh, his business, like sure. Yeah, sure. he's a very interesting dude from a very interesting family, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, he's not what you think. All right, so look, I'm not going to say too much, but this is a dude where you walk in the pack room... And there's like some lockers and shit, and like the door would open and he'd roll out of the fucking lockers. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do. I do remember that. He had a bed. He had a little house. He had yeah. a bed and a, like a TV screen. He would live. And this dude is from a fucking a, a huge big family in California. Uh, this dude is like your he, tiny house. Come dude, on. He disconnected from the world, son. Like he was hiding. Were you hiding, Nick Nuts? <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Oh, holy shit. Speaking of tiny homes. Wendy Jones introduced me to the idea of tiny houses and cutting away. She's like, I'm going to be a minimalist so I can travel more and do more. I remember you were talking about it. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. And I got home to my fucking full garage, all these cars, all this bullshit. And I was like, ah, there's no way I can be a minimalist. <laughs> there's nowhere to put the shit. I'm not getting rid of anything. But you did. Well, um, it's now that I've had some time to live that way and reflect on what a great decision it has been, uh, I've learned a lot from it and see the direction to go to apply like the emotional context of being minimalist okay. because it's kind of like the first time I went to Costa Rica when I was going through this um, terrible breakup not the druggy one but a different one and um, I was super sad and needed some wisdom and so I talked to a guru there and the guru told me something I kind of already knew. That's the thing about wisdom is when right. you get it, you realize you knew it all along. Well, that's that's how you know it's real. You right. You know, it's like an affirmation. It's not really new information. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so this guru told me a few things. And one of the things he told me was um, that the suf suffering in life comes from attachments to material possessions, to places, to people, to expectations. The more attachments you've got the more opportunities for suffering you will have and I had already learned that this was true by releasing my material possessions and downsizing my life and realizing how much freer and less stressful everything was that way um, but then when we talk about people um, that's the thing I've been working on probably the most in the past year because I really value my relationships and I value loving and being loved and my community but so how do you do this how do you not be sad when someone moves away or how do you not hang your uh, happiness on the fate of someone else and that's just the art of learning how to love without without attachment which has got to be way more difficult because you're detaching from everything else. So mm -hmm. I bet you lean more on your relationships. I would say no. I'd say that's not true. Like really? The more I detach, the more... You detach. Detach. Period. Yeah. Wow. And um, even just, in a way, it's sort of uh, morbid because I, I do, I really do think I just have today. The past is gone and the present and the future is uncertain. I only have right now, now to make it the best now I can make it. And it's given me the motivation to uh, achieve so much and and be so focused and driven in life. And it's so I think it's kind of anti um, counterintuitive that reducing, you know, the act of reducing things would have that result. But right. I really so think so um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but you you have kept your career and income. Yes, I haven't completely. Right, cut no, no, away. hold on, hold on, no, no, no. But why <laughs> cut away? Because we can't. Who the fuck can cut away? Right. But, but, but seriously, it's like the vein. You've trimmed the vanity a little bit. I mean, not vanity. I don't feel like possessions don't make you. That's dumb. But, but the need to have that stuff to fulfill mm -hmm. something in you is gone. 
right? So now you're just kind of like, but it's kind of more vain because now you're really focusing on you. I'm the vainest person you know. Right? It's, no I'm just getting doubt. this. I'm getting this idea now. This is the most vain thing. I'm, it's like skydiving is the most vain thing you can do. I, it doesn't benefit anybody in life but yourself. Oh man, vanity is. So I understand is... it. I get it. So it's not. It's less of an outward. It's less of an outward need of acceptance, and it's more of an inward fucking reward system you're mm-hmm. like yo i'm gonna do me mm-hmm. to the fullest extent to of me, the fullest not to the like clothes I'm, me. balls I'm to the wall me, me me yeah what the fuck i want to do mm-hmm. and fuck everything else in every aspect and you do it Holy in one shit. aspect and you want to do it in all the aspects that is powerful yeah that is fucking powerful the physical me the career me the you know emotional me the the me that's a friend the me that's a family member all, all the me's. All w- in. Yeah. And fuck everything else. Mm-hmm. And I've seen it. You are, you are my fucking adventure buddy. I look to you for advice and inspiration. <laughs> no shit. Because I know you're a shooting star. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, everybody knows you're a shooting star. That's amazing. That's an amazing philosophy. It was built over time, right? Yes. I, I first started minimalism. It's been almost exactly four years ago. And so it's been like a four-year... Um, really uh, dramatic journey, I would say. Like, and skydiving's been a seven-year dramatic journey. So it's like it's it like, like it's accelerating. To build. Yeah. Three years in, you were like, "Fuck it, I'm going all in." Mm-hmm, more. Mm-hmm. Do you have a Buddhist influence influence on this? Your 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 guru sounded very bodhisattva. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, it was the it's the sad guru is the mm-hmm. guy's name, and he is he is. Uh, well, wait, Indian. Um, People from India, they practice Buddhism. Uh, yeah, um, uh, they're Hindi. Hinduism. Hin- Hinduism yes. But, um, so, I'm. This is. M- I am not very smart. Um, Buddha was to Hinduism as Jesus was to Israelites or the Jewish. He was there. He was the one that says this is the better way to do this religion. Just mm-hmm. like Christ was for the Jews, you know, go to God, not the church. I don't know. Anyway. I have no idea about all any right. of that. So, yeah, so um, Buddha was like, you don't need all of this teachings. It's in you. The Buddha's mm-hmm. in you, right? Same thing with Jesus. It's kind of a very similar story. That's And that's the thing. Your your job is to look for it. If you mm-hmm. look for it and you commit to, to the search. Yeah. I mean, it is Seeking a huge reward. Find. Yeah. Wow. Uh, meditation practices? Skydiving is my meditation. How do you know of a, name a faster way to get to a quiet mind? Are you thinking about that bill, you know, in free fall? Are you thinking about what's going on at work or, you know, what the chores around the house? No, come on now. Mm -mm. Hey, yo, being disconnected with this injury. Mm -hmm. And uh, my last jump was a beautiful jump in Costa Rica. I am very grateful. I sound ungrateful lately, but I'm in a dark part of healing. Mm-hmm. I just need to fucking do a high pull so bad, like just for that moment. I just need a moment. <laughs> you know, it's so yeah. precious. Um, I try to mimic it, not mimic it, but I try to find my moments in the sauna or through meditation and breathing exercises. But there's nothing like that door opening and the wind rushing in. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, a <laughs> huge fuck it. Oh my god, why am I doing this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you still get that? I do. Um, it's not as much anymore. It's not. It's certainly nothing like it was in the beginning. But it's still right. there. It's always going to be there. Um, I don't know what it is, but there's a work mind I have that, when I, if, if it's a work jump, I don't question. Mm-hmm. I don't question. I'm there for a reason. I'm taking this person to the next level. This is why my this is my like my life's meaning. No question. Fun jumps. Like what the fuck am I doing <laughs> out here? <laughs> These jackasses. <man. laughs> Nobody sticks to the plan. It's a fucking zoo dive. I'm like, why am I skydiving? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I can't stand it, man. I can't stand it. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> just so unsafe. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, oh, there's people everywhere upside down. They're trying to transition. They're fucking just near missing each other. I don't know. I'm old, man. I'm gonna go. I'll do two ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only time I question what am I doing up here is when I'm with a group of people. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that track tag we were in on? The track tag? Oh, yeah. yeah fuck that track was tag. Fun, <laughs> fuck track tag. Listen, man. I'm just not that adventurous. You know what? I thought I was like fucking cutting edge, dude. I'm dynamic. Oh, you're badass, dude. I am not that fucking. I am, I am very. 
low key, man. Those jumps scared the shit out of me, dog. That was fun. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Speaking of fun, who's got two thumbs and is going to Summerfest? Oh, I want to go to Summerfest so bad. Oh, it's a 20 year anniversary. This year? This year. What month? This year. Uh, it's fr- I'm leaving Friday. Oh, fucking Friday. Right? Summerfest. Yeah. And, God uh, bless they, Rook Nelson and his daddy Roger. Right, and they did, and they uh, didn't do it last year because you know COVID. the Rona. But they said they got to make up for that this year, and I said I'll be oh there. Oh my God! I'll be there. Please live. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, and I'm not worried about the sky. It's right? just the gr- <laughs> everything else. If you guys haven't been to Skylab Chicago, oh my God, that is it. Have you been? No, I'm so excited. I've never That's been. It. That's it. There's nothing else like it. I mean, Eloy is dope because of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Elsinore, pretty fucking cool. Paris, uh, Elsinore is better. <laughs> um, no, I went to the Halloween boogie see, Delane, at Eloy. Okay, Eloy is the shit. Don't get me wrong. The only thing I can think of that can hold a torch to um, Sky of Chicago will be Eloy on the good day and Delan, Sebastian, maybe not at all. Not at all. Come on, let's be realistic. Sky of Chicago, do what Roger did. If you guys, uh, you guys got to read Sugar Alpha. If you haven't read Sugar Alpha, get it. Um, fuck. How do you get it? How do you get Sugar Alpha? The story of Roger Nelson. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Fuck it. The book's out so I can say it. The day he got out of prison, okay, for allegedly running dope in the otters in Florida. Okay, yeah, I know who this guy oh, is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he got his law degree while he's in there. He's in there with some crazy preacher that teaches him. Every- the day he gets out, he's shovel ready to build skydive motherfucking Chicago. What? What? That's him? What? Dude, what? you don't know where you're going? I had no idea. Dude, I like know who you're talking They made a movie about him. This is the shit, son. Wait till you step on this sacred ground. Sacred ground. Wow. This is sacred. Sky- Just like, you know. Skydive Arizona is semi-sacred, but this shit started wearing Cottonwood across from Mike Mullins. That was the original drop zone. Y'all got bought out and went out to Eloy. Dude, Skydive Chicago is the deal. Eloy is the closest to the deal, but not really because it moved. Skydive Chicago. Listen, I mean, movie theater, what do you want to talk about? The restaurant, movie theater, dude. Listen, what? Restaurant? What? Movie theater? What? what are you talking Hold about? Hold on. Uh, can we talk <laughs> for real? Really? Yes. Listen, listen. There are more fucking, there's a commune, dude, it looks like a fucking small town of trailers. There's streets of trailers of nothing but skydivers. It's fucking outrageously insane. They say, um, this is back in the day, I got my tandem rating there. Um, They're like, yo, the locals come. And by midnight, they're running down Trailer Road naked like, I can't believe this is real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's wild horses running around. It's The grass is lush and thick. There's a river running through it like the fucking A movie. river runs through it? Oh, Damn it. Get the fu- waterfall? You spot the waterfall. You know, all I knew about Scott of Chicago is that Summerfest was the very last word in boogies. Oh, that's okay, it. Okay, that's because, it. Because the Free Fall Convention... No longer exists and couch freaks. What the fuck happened to couch freaks? Now we have Summerfest still. Thank you, Rube. And he's gonna DJ a show probably. And the other thing I know about Scott of Chicago is pretty much every uh, world record has either been done there or trained for there. Man, Rook has been the best in the world for so fucking long that it's old to him. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. his dad was the best before him. These are like, hey. Um, That's another like beauty of skydiving thing and also tragedy is, because Simon Bone said the same thing. It's like, don't be in a hurry. Don't rush into the tunnel to get this and get that mm-hmm. and get the other because it doesn't seem like it now, but there is kind of an end like yeah. to the journey where there's nothing left Enough really learn. for you to learn. And how sad are you going to be then? No, because you teach. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't teach, you're fucking sad. Mm-hmm. But um, teaching is how I keep myself happy. You mm-hmm. know, if not, I'm just fucking doing circles and fucking in face off, you know, head up, head down. Who gives a fuck? It's old. Mm-hmm. It gets old, especially when you got to do it at the end of every class. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What are we doing? What's that? 
DZ. Was that Scott out of Chicago, Is baby? It? Let me see. Look at it. Oh, wow. watch this. Hold on. No, no, no. Look at the run. Oh, my God. It's lush. <laughs> Swimming stuff. pond. It's Sky lush. lounge. It's lush, what? baby. It's lush. Look at the cabins. Those Cougar are campground. That's me. <laughs> Population me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, so, but, oh my God. Hey, I couldn't believe it. I came from a single ha hanger Cessna drop zone. And my boss was like, yo, you guys gotta fucking get the fuck out of here. I'm not bringing a tandem rating course here. Right? He said my coach course. He's like, I'm not bringing the coach course here. Go to Florida and see what Skydive is about. This is Oklahoma, man. He was just there. He's just some pirate that landed in Oklahoma and opened a drop zone. He was on his <laughs> way out. He was just passing through. He was like, you guys are idiots, right? <laughs> Like, this ain't fucking skydiving. So he would send us all over the place, right? Mad Pirate Jack Reeves. Um, so Sky Chicago. Look at all the, look at the fucking otters. Wow. Look at the otters, man. Caravan with parachutes, sky van. They've got everything. Dude, they've got everything. Oh man, and the organizers, like world class oh, organizers. Fuck out of here. I am so Hey, so, so much. Other people pay organizers to show up. These motherfucking organizers ask if they can come to Sky, Sky Fest, uh, Summerfest. Yeah, dude, it's not a game. Invitation only. It's shit, you gotta beg. <laughs> it's probably not that hard. It's probably like, come help. But. <laughs> so, they used to have a DC-3 next to that hangar, okay? Mm -hmm. There's this old DC-3 on the, on the landing area. All good, it's just sitting there, okay? Mike. Mike, what's your last name? I was doing uh, my tandem course with this dude, Mike. We were getting triple rated, so it was Sigma... Vector strong, so we could do all three, and each one required a certain amount of jumps for each rating. So we were doing front rides all day, and back rides. Like if you do my five, I'll do your five. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, I do five front rides for you. You do five front rides for me, so we can get signed off. So Mike's on one of my front rides, and I think some girl showing up or something, and he had a badass school bus like <laughs> fuck pad on the drop zone, and like he's like, this girl's coming. I need to land next to the hangar so we can get out of here. I was like, our examiner's over there. I gotta land over there. He's like, well, the wind sock says this. I'm like, well, that says that. He's my front right passenger. We're arguing over the toggles in the fucking pattern. I'm like, no, dude. I was like, he's over there. He's judging this. He's like, I gotta go. I need to. We fight. We slide right under the DC three. The wing lands on the our wing lands on the wing. We slide underneath, and the canopy falls down. I was like, you're, we just laughed our fucking faces off. Like, god damn it, man. We almost hit the plane, dog. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. Scott out of Chicago. <laughs> Fucking love Scott out of Chicago, dude. Mm. Hey, and then, watch out. Doug, don't think I ever forgot about you, baby. Chicago Skydiving Center? Skydive Land Chicago? CSC. CSC. It's a badass. Okay, so, forgive me. Scott out of Chicago is more of a space land style. Mm -hmm. Drop zone. I'd imagine. CSC is more of a Lexington style drop zone. In that it's small? Or no, no, only that it's fun. I can't. <laughs> laid back. I cannot imagine a drop zone of any kind of size being laid back. Okay. Is that. Is it that... is. It's, the, it's all on the owner. Mm -hmm. The owner sets the tone of all drop zones. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's the owner sets the tone. Um, Rook Nelson, Roger Nelson fucking world records skydiving at its best mm -hmm. okay csc yeah baby um so they're they, they've got a thing to do they're, they're they set a precedence in the sport mm -hmm. doug's having fun <laughs> doug's people are having a fucking blast mm -hmm. like that's all we did right mm -hmm. dude i learned so much from you doug i learned so much from you doug and if you remember is the first day you had your pack it was the first load of you getting the pack we took off and you left the gas cap off and we had to fucking turn around and come back. <laughs> <laughs> a well, volleyball court? Dude, Man, this is how they do in Chicago. Not playing. Yeah, they're not they're not fucking around in Chicago. Yo, we we, we have a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah. Texas skydiving does. Um, you know, Florida's got us on a lot of things. Arizona's got us on a lot of things. A lot of other places, you know, Texas, we're having fun, but we don't have the amenities dude. Yeah. We can do better. We can do a lot better. It just takes I don't know what it takes. It takes years in the sport. You know, mm -hmm. these these places have 10, 15 years on us, so they've had that mm -hmm. money stacked already, mm -hmm. you know. Damn, man. Yeah, a lot of these places have um, great bunk rooms, you know, mm -hmm. RB hookups and shit. Skydiving is amazing, you guys. You guys can go from city to city and never see the city. 
Like, there were years I would never see a city. If I went anywhere, I would go straight to the drop zone because it's safe. You Man, know? I, I was congratulating myself on finding a little hotel. It's less than four miles from the drop zone, but mm-hmm. four miles sounds like... Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's way too far. It's way, at the end of the night, you're like, oh, I gotta <laughs> go. What? No. You're covered in dirt. <laughs> you're like grass and beer and sweat, and you gotta get in your car and drive. Wouldn't you just rather walk to a shower? Mm-hmm. And just go, go do you look at your face. You're like, Fuck, no, yeah. I didn't think it through. Uh, well, <laughs> it's too late. Hey, Why'd you get a trailer? Put it at Joe's place. That's what the, the deal is. Get a little trailer. Mm-hmm. A little tiny one. Those little oval Teardrop, ones. The yeah. Little, yeah, son. Man, we want to pop up so bad. Yo, we were going to the Grand Canyon this summer, and um, we couldn't buy a pop up to save our fucking lives. There's none mm. for sale. Everybody. And on this point, the fucking Grand Canyon, South Canyon. Yo, it is the worst experience ever for, like, families. Oh, my God. The, the, the Grand Canyon is beautiful. The restaurants are shit. The food is sh- It's like the Maldives, but at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's not curry. It's, like, dirt and pine leaves with rice. It's just terrible. All right. I'm sorry for shitting on the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so... Dynamic in the sky, or you want to create dynamic in the tunnel? Well, uh, see, now this is the really the best part of of my skydiving career, I think, because Tell I'm me. At, at the crossroads. Like everything sounds good, you know. I want to keep going down the path I've been going I down. I told you this about fifteen hundred jumps is when you'll have that decision. Remember, I said you're deep, but you're not. At, you're thirteen, mm-hmm. and now you're like, oh, I get it. I can do one of these fucking things amazingly, razor sharp. Mm-hmm. And about 1,500 jumps, you'll be on your path. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 18, you'll start competing. 2,000 jumps, you're on a team with matching fucking rigs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I loved about the dynamic stuff is uh, Dusty got me doing it, I guess, to just, um, I, you know, I couldn't really say what his methods are, but the outcome was getting a little more body aware in terms of, um, where how air hits the various surfaces of your body. And That's exactly his point. Yeah. That's exactly his point. Um, you have to remove belly, sit, head down, mm-hmm. back, plank, daffy. Sh- you got to remove it all. It has, it has to be flying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exactly. No matter where you're at, how you are, you're just flying so it you have to do everything he's exactly right mm-hmm. lean here turn there squeeze mm-hmm. that turn put your arm other. out put this out it, put your hips forward see what it feels like it all it, it all feels different and it all flies a certain mm-hmm. way and then it's, and it's all knowledge it's all input it's all input you're learning like oh shit oh shit and you saw the size of my layout so i did laying out yeah. come Holy on hefe. Shit. <laughs> 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 oh shit layouts Layouts are the most dangerous thing in the world. Are they really? That's it. Oh, I love it. That's it. Yeah, good. But you, you're coming in with a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. People rush through and they get there and it's like, oh, I want to be like those guys. It's but, so dangerous. But that's kind of like the ultimate dynamic, I it think. Is. It, well, look, because you, you go feel... through this angle right there. That show me something more dangerous upside down planked out than that. Mm-hmm. Right? There's nothing more dangerous than that. <laughs> <laughs> but you you actually go through 360 degrees of body position yeah. to complete it. Yeah, because you're also with, here too, right? Mm-hmm. Whack. Whew. But to experience all of it and to <laughs> yeah, see so how the... I'm sorry. I'm jaded. I'm like, <laughs> no. fuck layouts. I don't even teach them. You know, there's you a, it you takes a, teach them? It, a, it takes a special sign-off now. Did you get that sign-off on the IBA? You got to do a special... Dude, it's, it's, it's legally, it's the most dangerous thing we do. And huh. maybe because I'm so far in I Fly's ass that I know all this shit, like, they make us watch videos that they show in court of, like, the step-by-step, step, and it's like, you see that angle right there, blah, 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 the structure's not positioned. He's like, it's fucked. It's fucked on us. Huh. Like, it's this crazy thing. It's, there's more to it than just holding your shoulder. I'm like, wee! You know what I mean? Like, to you, it's like, oh, you just, you know, hips forward, legs straight in your legs, arms. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, it makes you not want to teach it. That's really it because it doesn't feel like that dangerous. Oh, it doesn't seem good. that dangerous. Wendy Jones. But uh, you know the where I'm trying to get with it now is that'll eventually be a transition for me, right? Mm-hmm. For a transition from either sit to or back to head down. Kind of, not really. You can use it, but um, it, okay. So the layout you go 
forward, up, then transition. Now you're two or three, four feet above the the the. the you group. burn a lot of altitude you, on that. The, the the layout helps you go through that because you're doing yeah. it slow. But when it comes time to transitions, you got to pop that shit. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you'll change your levels and you'll fuck up the jump. Mm-hmm. Not fuck up the jump, but you'll be out of position. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, layouts. You know what the layout is? You know what that you belly carbon, mm-hmm. right? And back carbon, mm-hmm. right? Those are angle jumps. Mm-hmm. It's just the tunnel's round. Right. So we have to go in a circle. But that body position, that all that is is Atmanati or angles, whatever they call them now. What are they called now? A- angles. Angles. It's not Atmanati anymore? I Who the fuck came with Atmanati? <laughs> <laughs> this is an Atmanati. Yeah. Um, yeah, that belly carbon, back carbon. So once you get that, I mean, yo, it seems like you're just going in circles for hours. Like, what the fuck? He has me going in circles again. Once you get that down and you can stop and go both directions with your knees, on your belly, on your back, you know, you can swing your arms and stop. Just like you're doing the layouts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The layouts are straight. To go that way or that way is how you, man, you're on all the jumps. Bam, bam. Go to your head, head carve. It's the shit. Now, I like those jumps. That's what I'm working on. One of the things I'm working on right now is that um, inward facing, uh, head down carving. And, mm-hmm. um, Man, it's it's so elusive though because there'll be a, a session where I'm just oh, I got it I got yep, it you yep. know I'm right and then mm. he'll say okay well now add this and I'm mm. I call it the mystery <laughs> yeah the mystery of head down mm-hmm. it's a mystery because one day you're like oh because you can feel it you fall in a slot and it's like oh the world's perfect I can yeah. follow and then he's not in there at least like glass glass <laughs> glass <laughs> it's fucked. how did I land at the counter oh uh, but um in the sky it's a little it's a lot easier. To try, because there's nothing to hit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Who 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 are your favorite people to jump with the DZ? You show up and you're like, boom. Well, I was just jumping with Aaron just yesterday. It was a hot mess, and uh, the the exit looked really good. The head down part was really good, and when it was time to let go, I said, okay, let's you know purposely let go and start the head down carving, and I almost immediately just rose right to my back. But um, you're open. Okay. You're open. Look. If you're open like this, it catches air and it brings you up. Mm-hmm. Collapses down and puts your head down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you're like tense, boop, it happens so Why quick. is this so much easier to think about in the tunnel? Is it just because you have more time no, to think? No, because the dude's or? standing there talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the tunnel, he's standing there. Hey, do this, 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 and that. Mm-hmm. Right. In the sky, you're like, oh, fuck, I have no reference. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. except the guy in front of me. And if he's not doing it right, we're all fucked. Right. <laughs> We're guessing, you know? But I really oh, enjoy... Oh, I can't wait to get back out. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll jump with you. I'll coach you. I, I love jumping with Aaron and Shane and the San, Santangelos. Mm-hmm. Um, probably what I need to do more of is uh, jump with the less experienced skydivers, because I know what that feels like. Mm-hmm. We all know what it feels like, yep. and, um, you know, you just got to... You That's my you bread and butter for, for joy. Yeah. For joy? Really? That's my bread and butter. You I'm walk feel, I'm up. Oh, it's a sacrifice. Now I'm going to do the whole pack job nah. and i got to pay for the jump. Uh, ah. Yes. No, I'm the worst. <laughs> and I don't even pay for jumps when I do that shit. I'm like, ah, <laughs> i got to pack this fucking thing. Right? I used to be. But now I'm more on like that on like three or four ways where people are like, let's go sit fly and go head down. I'm like, oh, fuck, good fuck, man. No. <laughs> but, but if I find a guy, you know, 80 jumps in, y'all learn how to sit fly. That's the best jump in the world. Mm-hmm. That's the best jump. Because he's never seen anybody near him. Mm-hmm. Now, I have to work my ass off, which I get better. Oh, yeah? Right? Yeah. They're backsliding. Yeah. So I'm fucking like this to stay mm-hmm. with him to give him signals and be in their face. I'm flying my ass off, and I don't want to collide into them. It's hard. Mm-hmm. But they're like, oh, fuck. They're like, you're taking docks and shit. Dude, they land. They're blowing. They're exploding. They're exploding. <laughs> well, other people are like, you see me getting on the dock? I was pretty cool. I had Daffy. I'm like, fuck you and your Daffy. Go die. <laughs> Suck. Now I will admit, <laughs> I will admit it is pretty fun flying with a um, you know a low free fly, especially yep. person. Um, uh, to, to watch them kind of go nuts and try to keep up with them, and right? Just yeah. And then they land. They're like, oh my god, that was the greatest jump in my life. <laughs> and you're yeah, like, oh, was. that was it terrible. Totally was. But for them, it was. You got to remember, a lot of these jumps are the greatest jumps they've ever had. Because your next jump, if you did something better, it's your greatest jump. So even for you, if it wasn't your... I had to learn this. For me, it wasn't the greatest because it's my own personal, oh, I didn't do whatever, this transition or whatever. But for them, and you don't want to take that away. Be like, oh, it was all right. Yeah, right, exactly. And another thing I'm rapidly learning, especially the more time I spend in the tunnel, it's just like you show up to the drop zone. Oh, today I want to work on, today I want to learn, blah, blah. I'll stop you there. Tunnel. 
You want to yeah. work? You want to learn? Go go there. Tunnel. You this come here. This is fun. This is fun. Yeah. Let's go fuck around yeah. safely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Working in the sky is tough. I tried to learn in the sky. Oh, my God. If you guys could see my head down videos trying to learn. It was terrible. I would just watch videos all day and go try and then have no, like, outside input. It was just bad. <laughs> um, I do feel cheated, though. I'm going to say this because I could not fly head down at all when I started iFly. And then I was at iFly, I was only doing tandems for six months. It's the only jumps I got. I got no fun jumps. But I was at the tunnel, like, fucking Monday through Friday, weekends at the drop zone. And I was getting better at the tunnel, but I wasn't skydiving. You know, I was doing tandems. I was mm-hmm. at San Marcos. We were doing 10. We'd get 10, 12 a day, you know. I'd get 20 jumps a weekend, no fun jumps. Mm. And then one day I jumped out with Ivan Cassion and Steve. Um, what well, fucking Steve, Steve, Steve. What's Steve's name? Anyway, out of the plane, boom, solid. First time ever, but like as if I've been doing it forever and was able to turn points and do everything unearned kind of I earned it in the tunnel but it wasn't earned in the sky and as I was doing it with such ease I almost felt cheated because I used to struggle so hard and want it so bad and to have learned it in the sky and to get it would have been gratifying but to go back and just be there with like oh no I missed out on something this is just some stupid personal journey I'm on, right? Like, this is 15 years into flying. I'm just like, I, w- I don't know. I missed something. I don't know about that because that's a tough one because I think we look at, and I'm not naming names because I'm about to talk a little bit of shit. Mm-hmm. We look at certain skydivers, right? Certain flyers who, you know, don't necessarily have to work for their <laughs> tunnel money, you know? Well, uh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> There's I'm more than one. Four guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or and girls. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And you know, we kind of. But it's a, it's a, it's an expensive sport. And the people that sport. fly in the sport have money. That's and, just the way it is. Yeah, and you know, look a little green-eyed monster. Oh, they you know bought their skill. They didn't pay their dues or whatever. Right, but right. Paying dues means different things. Like it's not. Um, it's not a, a gimme. Like you go in the tunnel, you got to work. You, know? gotta you work still got to work. You still got to work in the tunnel. You know. So. I guess what makes mine a little different is is because I was an employee, I didn't have to save and scrimp and pay for it. I was forced to do it. Mm. And I earned it. I earned it through pain and shit. I mean, I earned it. It was just, there's this thing where, for me, it was like, oh, I can hold barely docks and sit fly. And then a couple months later, I'm fucking head down, carving around, taking docks. There's this whole, whatever, I'm bitching about nothing. Let's move on. (laughs) (laughs) It was just... The small victories that are so glorious. Mm-hmm. Your first belly dock with your friend after five or six tries, where you guys are like, oh, dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And one day you guys right. come in and hold it. And there it is, yeah. That's a big fucking deal. And mm-hmm. that happens in sit too and head down. And I, I didn't get to experience that in the sky. But what was me, guys? <laughs> I had to do 10,000 hours in the tunnel and then go skydive. Oh, poor you. Fucking poor baby. I'm sorry. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's move on. What can it be you fly? A 122. And I've put... 122 what? A uh, Zulu. 122 is a pilot. Um, pilot. Is that like the half... It's like... Is it like a Semi-elliptical? Half? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, uh, You know who's... Before... The past year, I used to think, all oh, these people carrying a bonnet, oh, this kind of canopy does this, and this kind of canopy does that, and they're so different, and so I'm like, Psh, it just gets you to the ground. There's no difference. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, fucking money. oh, my God, I flew rewards, uh, with his permission, <laughs> I uh-huh. flew rewards, uh, um, his crossfire. Yeah. It's like glass. Who told you to buy a Zulu? Well, well, I got, um, I bought <laughs> Josh's old canopy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Zulu. I don't know anything. What, who makes it? Pilot. And I was at the time, I've Pilot. really only flown. Is that Aerodyne? Yeah. Yeah. I really, Y'all know how I feel about Aerodyne. I've really only flown pilots for like the vast I tri- flew a triathlon when I'm I first so started sorry, off. Wendy Jones. How long have we known each other? Uh, you know. I never said the words PD. Uh, that's oh. my, um, my reserve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you trust them. Right. So what the fuck? Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's really been I don't like aerodyne. I got this canopy loaded at a one five, and it's mm-hmm. the first canopy I've flown that responds, like really responds to harness inputs mm-hmm. and to and that I can actually fly it, fly it proper mm-hmm. on the risers. Nice. Um, w- I, I don't ev- know anything. The about bigger it. ones, yeah. I just this is the first one where I can turn and right. like really crank it and really turn. Are you do fronts. 
What do you? What's your? What's your landing? What are you doing? It, nothing. I'm, I'm not sweeping even a little ninety degree turns. Nothing. Fronts? No. Just rears? Yeah. Or toggles? Rears. Just rears. Okay, you do rears. At least so, you do rears. Yeah, You're I can't. So this is the. Oh yes, yeah, so this is the first one that I could actually fly that way. Before I just wasn't getting enough response from right anything on. except. Right on. So now you know that's kind of opening a whole world too. But I am not. You know, I would really talk myself out if it ever occurred to me, talk myself out of getting into swooping because, like, I'm not ready to die. Yeah, I hear that. Okay, so uh, let me regress real quick. The vision. I had the vision. It was the worst opening parachute that has ever existed. But the motherfucker swooped. So mm-hmm. I know Aerodyne has some glide, right? Because mm-hmm. it, it's. I bet you that Zulu's dope. Just the, I had a bad experience with the vision. That being said, I believe cross brace canopies are safer. <laughs> I fucking put it in the comments. Y'all can talk shit if you want. I fly non cross brace. It feels like flying a waterbed. There's nothing there. The crossfire it's is not. Yeah. So the crossfire is closer to the cross brace, and you see the crispness yes. of the response. It's there's no delay, right? And that's not even cross brace. It's like on. It's like it's on rails. It's a razor. It's amazing. Wait till you get, get uh, okay, Velocities. Oh, I don't know what the fuck is new now. I will buy your Velocities. I'm on buy my Velocities. I'll probably just be buying Velocities till I die. I'm not going to anything else. If Rewards Rig turns up missing, I took it. Hey, <laughs> if you like that, like some of these cross braces, it feels like if you lean back, it flares for you a little bit. It's that nice. Mm. And it feels safer. It feels like nothing can beat it. It feels like a uh, wind gust can hit it, and it's just going to go right through it. Where these other ones, you're kind of victim to whatever. Well, my current ge- gear is is uh, is ratchet as hell. It's got <laughs> it's got a 176 reserve and a 122 main. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the safest rig I've ever heard. <laughs> Safer than it really needs that to be. That is I'm the thinking. safest thing ever. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. And you know what's how wrong with that? You probably don't remember because the rig is Huge. bigger than I want it to be. Yeah. Good God! Can you guys imagine your reserve is three fourths of your rig? <laughs> it's this big and the yeah. craziest rig. Yeah. That's nuts. Then and it's also you know it's it's showing it's had some life and um what was the other thing oh do you remember you probably don't seeing my kill line was either too long or too short and it would wind up you spin my, up your yeah, yeah 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 so now I'm down to it finally broke off it's gone <laughs> yeah and Are you still so, jumping it yeah and so it tied oh. the D bag directly to the canopy so hey, now, how minimalist <laughs> you're gonna fucking you did what. <laughs> So now the oh, pilot shoot. the kill shoot. line's gone, so yeah. you just fucking, the pilot shoot just dragging. Yes. Get a pilot Ratchet. shoot, dog. I Drop zone classified. <laughs> I dog, I got a pilot shoot. I got a worn out ass pilot shoot for you. But uh, Next season, all new gear. The new, oh, really? Yeah. You're going to go top to yeah, bottom? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Fucking A. Listen, and I'm going to tell you guys this. Unless you got that loot, go get it. But um, till you got 1,500 jumps, man, don't buy new shit. Because you're going to tear it up and sell it and downsize, and you're just going to be a waste of money. You're going to get burned out on buying gear. Buy, buy Ratchet. <laughs> my favorite color is Use. But then, I, I, my, yeah, my gear now is, like, the best it'll ever fucking be because I waited, right? And now you're going to have some shit that you love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now rigs are crazy. You know what I mean? They're mm-hmm. super soft and memory foam and shit. It's mm-hmm. fucking ridiculous. What are you going to get? I've never flown anything but an Infinity, but I also like Reward's actual rig. What kind of rig is it? Do you know? It's I, not bro- Infinity. I think we jumped Vector. I Vector? jumped Vector. He probably that jumps Vector. That right. I could ask him. Yeah. Because it's had that, um, anyway, it felt really good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the articula- was it yeah, articulated? Was it articulated and shit? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Man, right now all rigs are equal. Like, mm-hmm. there's nothing safer than anything else. You know? It's just mm-hmm. like what features and how you want it to look. And mm-hmm. really, it's a brand thing. People want to be like, oh, I'll jump this or that. But, dude, they're all the same thing. They're all free fly friendly. They, you can go fast and shit. What color? You can stick with the same green, yeah, neon, sure. and yellow yeah. and shit? Yo, do we have any, do we have any uh, Wendy Jones jumps with her fucking glasses? With the, with the... <laughs> Yo, this chick jumps these uh, glasses, dog. That's how you know it's Wendy on any <laughs> video. If you right. ever see her on Friday Freakouts or fucking skydiving, anything. Sugar Skull. Sugar Skull. Watermelon rig yeah, and <laughs> fuzz glasses. <laughs> All right, never mind. Mm. Oh, you need a charger. Okay. Um, you ever think about wingsuiting? I like wingsuit rodeos. 
Yeah. But how many, how many of those have you done? Um, I've actually been a tracker on a wingsuit rodeo a few times, and they. I was on them. So I was fun. on one with you. I was yeah. on with you. We had that. We were trying to do the two way rodeo with the <laughs> yeah. fucking. Yeah. Right? We did the two way rodeo. Yeah, they did it. They yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we fucking did that shit. <laughs> that was hey, so awesome. Were you on the hybrid the other day? Uh, no. They were okay. That went to shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like what you were talking about. I think that was Jesse Rand's uh, something. Yeah, yeah. Hundred hundredth something. Or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and he was all stoked, you know, yeah. and it was a shit show. Yeah. But, you but know. he was like, oh, oh my. Yeah. Dude, I got videos from three people. I got <laughs> videos from three different people on the jump. Like, look what we did. I'm like, good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you killed it. You, you killed it. it. Hey, there's somebody flipping over. I know who it was, too. <laughs> Motherfucking Chavez. I saw you. <laughs> did you see her? <laughs> oh, dude. So you know how, like, when you hang on the hybrid, if your feet aren't straight down, you start mm-hmm. swinging, you mm-hmm. go under. She went back and front flipped over the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and she's tiny too, so she's like, ah. <laughs> "All right, that's so rad." What we got? Oh, the computer started up. Man, so wingsuiting, <clears throat> watching Sergio do this shit, and he's free flying with these motherfuckers, and then going off and wingsuiting for another minute. <laughs> I think that's the deal. Yeah, nothing else to do. Go fucking head down, carve, 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 carve. The skydivers break off, and then you go do another minute wingsuit jump. And then he stalls out, right? Throws his parachute, fall. Oh, man, I think that's what I want to do. Oh, you haven't done any wingsuiting? No, I've got like 200 jumps, but I haven't done it. So I got to a point to where I was like, either I learn how to wingsuit or I learn how to free fly, but I can't do both. Mm -hmm, It's impossible mm -hmm. to be good at both. Mm -hmm. You'll be mediocre at both, but Mm -hmm. you're not going to get a dock, and you're not going to stay with the big flocks. They're going to out-track you, or you're going to be behind. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I got to focus on one or the other, and free flying was way cooler. Mm -hmm. It's still way cooler. Yeah, still. Mm -hmm. Good decision. (laughs) Man. So... So yeah, I've only ever jumped an infinity and um, gotten real comfortable. How are the legs, the leg straps? They ever dig Fun. in? Nah. So my old javelin used to dig in and cut the blood off mm. of my fucking leg. But I had an old worn out ass javelin. <laughs> infinity rigs, do they make canopies too? It's the three rings, right? The infinity is the three ring symbol. That's their logo. Uh, the well, the actual infinity, you know, like a figure eight. Oh, that's right. That, okay. Yeah. Who makes it? Do you know? Mm-mm. <laughs> Does it have a skyhook option type thing? I think it has that as an option. Your shit's old. Yeah. How is. is that like you put a thousand jumps on it? Uh no, let's see. It wasn't my first rig. Okay. Um it was my first custom rig, but I was also again about fifty pounds heavier than I am now, so it doesn't really How's fit right feel? anymore. Amazing. I okay. mean I don't feel it as much anymore. When it like when I first dropped the weight, when I first dropped the thirty pounds, I really noticed the difference. How and did, just how did you do it? Um, oh, keto, and then yeah. um, and then um, intermittent fasting, mm-hmm. and but mostly How just many hours like. Were you doing? Oh, 12, I do uh, eight sixteen. Oh, 16? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And what were you doing for keto? Um, well, um, don't so keto just. <laughs> I find my words. Uh, yeah. I did keto hardcore like at the very beginning, and I right. also went to this uh, weight loss clinic that, you know, they just prescribe drugs. That's all they do. Right. But they tell you this will like take the really hard part away. Uh-huh. But you have to actually do it. You have to right. change your habits. Right. Because right. like eventually this medication is going to wear off. Mm-hmm. It's not going to work effect. anymore. Right. Yeah. And um, so you have to already have the habits, and um. And so I did, but mostly the how was like making up my mind that you know it was a mental thing. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the real how. Everything else was just because I've I try all sorts of interchangeable methods, and you know some of them keto or carb restricting and intermediate fasting. And there's also I don't know what the word for it, but it's like you eat ridiculous amount of calories one day and then the next couple of days you calorie restrict pretty heavily and then oh really yeah and it just like sort of tricks your body into think oh there's there's lots of food i'll burn lots of calories oh wait there's not so much i don't know what yeah, you like that. confuse your metabolism, yeah, right. but my trainer says like don't do that. Like that doesn't as a, sound good. It's, it's not you know guaranteed work, but for the most part it's, it's just habit like change. yeah it's habit change and yeah. Yo, 
So there she is. But that's not. Do we have the goggles in that picture? Oh, that's an old one. That's an old shot, huh? Yeah. That's, that's not even the rig I, you jump anymore. Um, or it that is. suit. Um, I still have that suit. I still that is my rig, but that helmet. I haven't that's worn that That's the same helmet. suit you're still jumping? Yeah. Oh god, that motherfucker's dirty now. <laughs> 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 that green ain't the same green. Oh my jump. gosh, this jump. I forgot about this jump. Explain uh, it to me. It's the tube jump. It's my one and only tube jump and I'm holding it like a box. I mean, <laughs> see how it just, Did you deploy it? Just carving it. Yeah. You didn't let it go? Land with it? Yeah. Fucking oh, gangster. Yeah. So what, you, you did the hand switch to the left and dump right? Yes. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good for you. Look at that. Yeah. Yes. That's the looking inside jump. the boat. Yeah. And that's, that's out of the sky van at the boogie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Woody Jones. Man, this shit is fun, man. Yes. I love skydiving. I love <laughs> <laughs> I love skydiving. Oh, man. All right. So, we're about to do a Friday freak out. Okay. Um, this one is some AFF shit. I haven't watched it yet. God damn it, I love you, Wendy Jones. <laughs> I love you too. Um, next adventure. Oh, listen. We're doing another Cali adventure. Okay. Of Mama. We're doing <laughs> Um When we say March into February, March, guys. Listen, motherfuckers, private message me, man. I'm Watch Chowdhury on Messenger if you guys want to go. It fills up fast because I offer it to the people that have gone before. If you guys really want to go, I do want to take newer people because the people that have gone with me a couple... I mean, you're fucking more than invited. Jimmy Brewer's going to go. Jeff's going to go. But it's designed for people that need to learn how to land better, right? It, it'll save your ass. Do you see see Jimmy landing in Costa Rica? I mean, he wasn't on the drop zone, but he still flared. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker would never flare. Now he flares thanks to uh, Wazzy Circus Adventures. Oh, hey, we got to jump from the Cali trip. The Cali trip. Oh. It's just everything. Oh, here we go. Have we ever show this on the show? Let's mm -hmm. play it. So this is Wally Circus Cali. Was it this year or the year before? This is a couple years ago. Look, there's the San Francisco there tunnel. Is. You remember that trip? Yeah. Fuck yeah, Wally Circus. Look, so we're doing this again in February, guys. Not February, March. I don't know. I'll let you know. King Air 200, baby. Uh, it's a secret place in California. <laughs> uh, we do our best to make it action-packed and fun-filled, man. There's Drake. Look at Jeff. Jeff, hey. So we'll, we'll go to the tunnel. We'll go to the drop zone. We'll try to go surfing if you guys want. It's cold. Mm -hmm. uh, we go run around Big Sur. We jump out of the King Air over the ocean. 18 grand every load. Shout out to Jackie. There's Winnie Jones. God damn it. There's Izzy Beecher. Man, that was a fun jump. This oh, is a good time. crazy. I actually don't remember. Yeah, that's how it. good life is. Yeah. That's how good your life is. You don't remember this awesomeness. There's Kelly. Wow. Kelly Bandy was on that trip, remember? Yeah. Look, track away, baby. There's the break off. And then that day, look, there's Drake flying, and then we end up at the dunes. Rochelle went, look, up the dunes. So this is where we fly canopies, man. Uh, you can crash, and it doesn't hurt. <laughs> you can not flare, and it doesn't hurt. And you can get 20, 30 loads, man. It's a lot of work sometimes, but there's a lot of pair. God, that was magic, man. Remember that? Yeah. That was a couple years ago. Oh, look at that. That's the Bigby Bridge. There's more flying on the dunes, baby. That's me getting my ass kicked. This is the only <laughs> video he put on. The editor didn't have me on here flying at all. That's you. Is it? Oh. Yeah, that was you. Look, there's hang gliders and shit. It was, remember that shit? Yeah, man. We met this dude. What was his name? I remember that dude. Look, he, remember he just like flew in. Yeah, he just, hey, guys, what's hey, up? Hey, can I get a beer? Yeah, yeah, can I get a beer? He's sitting in his hang glider <laughs> shit. Ah, look at that, dude. That was a jump. <laughs> boom. And then boom. Oh, yeah, so then we went to Hollister. Shout out to Skydive Hollister. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had to land off the drop zone and get picked mm -hmm. up in the limo. Mm hmm And the landing area was a different altitude than Dif the... It was far as fuck away. Yeah. That that's the dude, isn't that the dude? No, that's Waylon. Oh, no, that's not the dude. That's my that's my ghetto bird. <laughs> yeah, that's how we ended. That was like the last day, I think. Everybody's done flying parachutes. <laughs> 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 Just drinking on the beach. Yeah, so we'll be going again in a month or two. Party people. <laughs> Body Circus Adventures. Wendy Jones, give some advice. Give some advice to these party people, man. What On. You, um. Uh, uh, never mind. Be, I got it. Coming free. I got we it. had this, hold on, we had this conversation yeah. in Costa Rica. We're not, sitting in yeah. hammocks. We're sitting on the beach talking. I'm going to release this video next, you guys, the Costa Rica adventure. It's going to be little clips because it was a GoPro and the 
sounds all fucked up, but you'll get it. But go ahead. So give it to me. Especially for this for this younger generation, I would say my advice is to hold on to your power and to take it back if you've given it away. Because what I see a whole lot of, especially with young people, oh, this person made me do this and not feel some kind of way, or this is happening, I feel some kind of way. Like, listen, you can't control what other people do, but you can control your response to it, okay? Mm -hmm. And all of your emotions, your your love, your hate, your fear, your um, shame, everything, that's all coming from you. It is all a you thing, right. okay? So Your whatever, response is yours. yes, whatever kind of way you're feeling, own it and do something about it if you want to. Right. But right, 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 right. It, it is all coming from you. You are not a push to start machine. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. You're yeah. You're not a victim. And with that, I, w I would say you're going to feel some type of way. Recognize how you feel and just mm -hmm. accept it and then let it be. Don't judge it. Right, I'm angry. Okay, I'm angry. This is what anger feels like. I'm not gonna respond and be a dickhead like an angry person would. I am angry. I'm gonna handle it. I'm sad. I'm still gonna be nice, I, even though I feel sad. I recognize I'm sad. I own it. If you don't own it, you act out on it. Mm -hmm. Right? You're exactly right. And um, <laughs> what you think people are saying to you is your perception of what's going on it has nothing to do with how they felt or what they were really saying. The way you perceive things may be twisted. Mm -hmm. Because of your own shit, now you may be responding in your own way, and it has nothing to do with that. What that person was trying to do, dude. This life shit's crazy, and mm -hmm. getting older is crazy, and yeah. trying to be more responsible and more responsive to other people's emotions and how they feel. But if you do that, it is better for you to recognize what makes you feel like shit, and knowing that, and knowing that you're not going to do that to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You've got to own it. If you don't mm -hmm. own it, you're going to do that to people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. it does make you a better person. Yeah. Dropping life lessons on them, Wendy Jones. <laughs> Write that down. I'm giving you gold. <laughs> that is gold, people, on the Wazzy <laughs> Circus Radio. All right, here we go. Friday Freak Out. Shout out to Andrew Revis and I Love Skydiving.org. Team, baby. Team presents the Friday Freak Out. This is the shit, man. All right, what is this? AFF, up, down, arch, shitty exit, knees to his chest. He's probably not going to perform. He's really scared. Thumbs up to the instructor. These instructors have been jumping a lot. Okay, he let go. Boom, no touches. What fucking jump is this with that shitty rig? Oh, that was bad. He twisted his hips. Yeah, so he redocks. Good job. Another shitty touch. Why did he let go? This has got to be the first jump. I haven't seen him check at his altitude. I haven't seen him check with the right instructor yet. He hasn't done no practice touches. This must be a level three. Okay, boom. Released. Released. Good job. He's fucking flying, checking his altitude. No tunnel time. Oh, oh, oh. no tunnel time. Look, he went for the round. Oh, it's going oh, wrong. Yeah, <laughs> gangsta. Listen, y'all want to be a tunnel? Y'all want to be oh, AFF instructors? Y'all want to be AFF instructors? Go be a tunnel instructor. It's a lot easier. Oh. <laughs> Grab him, roll him, dump his bitch ass. Oh, <laughs> boom. Oh, Cypress. Dump. Oh, no, no, no. No, he's low as fuck. Oh, no. Oh, that's too out, isn't it? He's out. Oh, fuck. Oh, Chop. Man. Good job. Oh, that's a ninja. This motherfucker is a ninja. Hey, you, dude, shout out to this motherfucking instructor. Dude, this dude is heads up. Fucking look at this guy. That, that's what happens when they walk off the street when a skydive. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I imagine how the student feels. I'm talking shit, but God. And this dude's head down. Oh, instructor. Super instructor. Look, he's trying to dump. He was taught to dump. That dude had a good course. Pull, motherfucker. Pull, pull what are you it. On? He <laughs> <laughs> he's doing his practice touches. <laughs> uh, look, instructor, superhero, fucking grabs him, rolls him over, dumps him with his left hand. Boom. Student's out. Okay. That was a student's parachute. He gets belly to earth. Okay, good. Oh, he look. He pulled his reserve. What right? is that? That was his reserve. He pulls his reserve because he's low. Why has he got two out? That's not an ADD fire. A A D fire. He had his reserve. Look, you saw him pull it, right? Yeah, that's what was in his hand. I thought it was the student. And then he chopped. Oh, that was the student rib cord. Look, he had line twist two in the reserve. Let's run that back. Motherfucking Sky Ninja, motherfucker. Hey, you got 10 minutes of free coaching with me, motherfucker. <laughs> Come see me, dog. You deserve it, baby. 
Look, good job. Hey, the student's killing it. The other instructor's on his game. Look, they're on his ass. Whatever drop zone is, they're on their shit. They just need some new gear. They're still using rip cords. This has got to be an old video. All right. <coughs> good, good, good. What happens? Oh, fuck the legs bent. Straighten your legs, people. All right, students, this happens, right? Student hap it, This is level three. It just fucking happens. Students going for his shit. It just happens, man. You guys, this is reality. This is skydiving. You think your shit's going to be cush? Look, dumps the student. Boom. So That's the student ripcord. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Look, so he dumps his parachute, right? Boom. There's that. And then the cypress fire. Pow. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, man. You're in the basement, baby. Chop that away. This kicks out. He's under reserve. Is he at the DZ? No way. <laughs> That's not the DZ. Is it? It's just a field. No. Where are they at? Somebody's farm. <clears throat> Bam. Look, man, you bend your legs, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Sit fly. Oh, that student's dope. Back fly. Watch. Do a layout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that. I mean, that's just that's one of the things that makes you go, oh. "How did I get here? How did I survive? How did this? I survive this shit? But because that's how it feels. Yeah. Your first jump. That's everybody's nightmare, right there. And even now, I'm <coughs> like learning and appreciating how, like the the oh. legs are the powerhouse on the land in the air. The, the legs is yeah. your legs is your power. Fucking gangster. Yeah. You're my hero, dude. <laughs> You're my goddamn hero. Now somebody else might be like, oh, he should have recognized his left foot bending and redocked then. But fuck you, he didn't <laughs> give up. He didn't give up, and that student owes you a bottle of something. Mm. Look, look how it's all tangled. He separates the canopies. Look, he's this is textbook, baby. Chop. Pow. Good God. Run that so, back just for a second. Hold on. Run that back just for a second. This is so fast, but this is so fundamental. They teach you in the first jump course, but of course you forget. You got two out. They're side by side. Are you going to let them downplay you? You're just going to be a bitch and ride them in? Or are you going to be a motherfucking gangster? Separate them. Watch. He sees what's flying. Which way? Look. He separates them. He pulls his mane to the left and dives it, and then chops that motherfucker away. That's the black slider you saw. Bow! Look, he pulled the left canopy. He pulled down on the left riser, dove it, made his made his mane separate from his fucking reserve. Watch. Watch the black slider. The green is the reserve. He pulls the black slider, dives it, and chops it. Look, left hands on the canopy, right hands on the fucking chop. But, uh, God, that's gangster shit. I thought if you have them in a front to back orientation, like you don't want to chop because. That was. Oh, okay, okay. When, like I just said, when did you learn this information? AFF. Your first fucking skydive. Yeah. Now you're 1,500 jumps in. You're just going to take what you fucking get as an experienced skydiver? Well, I think about what happened to. to I mean, can we name names out here? Yeah, we're yeah. fucking watching I think about what radio. happened to Marv, right? Okay. Marv cuts and it winds up like a string around his, you know, canopy chokes he, it to death. Did he, though. did he separate? He just chopped. He just chopped his shit into his. Uh, let's ru one more time, baby. Watch what I'm saying. Watch what I'm saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Watch what I'm saying. Yeah. If you chop it, it's going in. It's going in. Mm -hmm. This is why. This is why I'm so excited and freaking out on this, because there was a split second decision. To make a gangster fucking move low. Mm -hmm. This dude did some gangster shit low, and he he was heads up enough to know that he had to reach up. Watch. Watch. Boom. Mains out. Mm -hmm. AAD fire. Oh, shit. I've got two canopies. He looks around. Oh, no. He grabs his left riser, pulls his main down away, mm -hmm. and then chops it. He has left hand on front riser, right hand on cutaway. The canopy dives. He's clear of his reserve. He's watching pop. It's not It's not just chop, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. it dive. It's in front of his face. He's got one hand here, one hand here. That is some gangster shit in the last second. He must have a beautiful wife. <laughs> 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 I'm serious. He looks up. All right. This is an experienced skydiver. There's no panic. He didn't grab a bunch of, he didn't pop toggles, right? He's not grabbing shit. He looks, he sees, oh no. Dude, he takes his right hand, he pulls his, one more time. He pulls his um, reserve to the right. He grabs his left risers on the main, pulls it. It inflates in front of him in a dive. He grabs his fucking cutaway and chops it in front of his face. The main goes away fully inflated. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It's fully inflated in a dive as it goes away from him. 
That's fucking ingenious. Like, if it was vertical, it would have went up, right? But since it was down, it went that way. That was some gangster shit. So, yeah. <sighs> to avoid that, don't go low. Um, you're not <laughs> supposed to go in the basement anyway. But look, uh, it's your student, man. He yeah. probably spent six hours with the guy. He yeah. knows the, guy, the name of his kids. You know, you know, he, he's, he's friends with the guy. He knows the guy has a Corvette, and he loves this and that and whatever, and they're fucking jumping together. It's the end of the day, and he's flipping on his back, and he and wants to save him. And he's just like, I can't have you looking up at me with my parachute popping out. And <laughs> like, you're later, still- dude. <laughs> but that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to let him go, man. You're not supposed to chase him in the basement because now you got two fatalities. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the deal is, in reality, you don't save him. You might lose your fucking job and your license. I don't think people are thinking about that in that situation. I will, I I have been in that situation. Really? Yeah, like, yeah. Like like, do I chase him and lose my shit, or do I go in and save his ass? Well, I'm gonna save his ass because I'm a hero, but I might, mm-hmm. you know, dude. Yeah, you think about that shit, dude. I'm in free fall looking at who's fucking going to lunch and <laughs> whose car is still in the do parking lot. Do you really? Lot. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me that. That makes me sad. No, you do it enough. You're like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, what are they doing? I mean, I'm talking about tandems. I'm talking about tandems. Okay. Work jumps. All like right. you just fall and look down. Stay on AFF. You know, you just it's you do it over and over again. You think about other shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, yeah, dude. We take off. I be looking out the window, seeing people go to sub. Oh, they didn't ask me if they're getting. I know they're getting food. What the fuck is I know you're getting food. <laughs> <laughs> It's my tenth load. Come on, son. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all didn't ask me nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you man? Grab another rig. Get back on the fucking plane, man. You know mm-hmm. this is the way it is. What a beautiful life. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, no shit that I was. Y'all know the book. No shit that I was. Uh, it's a book. No shit that I, that I was. Thought I was gonna die. Skydiving stories. Skydiver stories compiled by Tim Long and Doug Gar. This book is golden. It's a jewel. Which one are you going to do, you know? Yes. There you go. Right on. It's going to be. Thanks for the support, guys. Uh, Thank you to LMB. Thank you to all Central Texas, all skydiving. All skydiving. Thank you to all skydiving. Costa Rica. Motherfuck, man. Uh, We go big. I love you guys. Keep your head on a swivel. Wendy Jones in this motherfucker. You got it? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, for today's reading on Wazi <laughs> Public Radio, <laughs> we have an insightful story called The Green Weenie. Okay, let me, before, but that's funny you say that. Do you know what the studio is? Do you know who InfoWars is? I've heard of InfoWars, yeah. Alex Jones. Yes. This is his studio. Get out of this here. This is Jackie. He sits here? What? That's his original where he started and he'd take calls and rave and rant and shit. This is the Austin Public Studio. This is his studio. There's some mojo in here. There's some fucking mojo in here. I'm yeah. very honored to be in this room. So, yeah. So, Austin Public Radio. Wazi <laughs> Public Radio. It is actually Wazi <laughs> Public Radio. I know. I'm Wazi Public Radio. My, uh, <laughs> on NPR. Sweaty balls. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty balls on dogs in the park. <laughs> Is it racist? <laughs> <laughs> My man. All right. All right. I, can I say that I love you? Love you. God damn it, Wendy Jones. With all my heart. All right. You almost killed me on the track tag. <laughs> I don't like track tag. You almost killed me in the tunnel. <laughs> I did. I almost watched you die in the tunnel. You flew away from me like a balloon. <laughs> like when a kid let the balloon go in a gust. I was like, oh, Doom. Oh. <laughs> Doom indeed. And then I didn't see you again. <laughs> Yo, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. It emotionally destroys your instructors when you guys get hurt. Really? It fucking, it does us like we got hurt. Oh. It really does. Because you don't want that. No. I don't want my hand to be part of anything negative. Right? I don't want my hand to lead somebody to fucking pain, man. Mm. Right? So it, it's, it's hard on us when people get hurt. It's funny as fuck. We watch the video over and over, but it's really hard. <laughs> it's funny, man, but it's hard. Okay. The late, great Bill Stage, SCR5, told me of a jump he made on which he went to open his main, and nothing came out. He punched it as best he could, but nada. So he rolled over on his back to open the belly chute. That's what? old school shit, son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's his reserve. 
Yep. It opened fine, and he lay there watching a nice white reserve fall away from him. Somehow the connections had come oh, undone. Oh, fuck you. He remembered thinking, I just had the green weenie. <laughs> What's the green weenie? <laughs> Appa- that, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> then, bam, the main opened. The reserve ripping off had broken out the main. Yeah. How many times have we heard that story? That happens. He always laughed about that green weenie, though. (laughs) That's the fucking story? That's That's pretty rad. (laughs) No. No. (laughs) There's another one in here I was kind of interested in about naked skydiving. Well, go to that one. Hold on. Let's think about this green weenie. (laughs) No, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. How many reserve rides you got? Two. I've got 15. Oh, yeah? Yeah, last 12 have been like, ah, I don't give a fuck. But <laughs> the first three, you totally fuck. Have you ever been base? Have you been base? No way. No way. So there's a second every base jump after you throw, it's like, oh, shit, it didn't work this time. Because you're still in free fall. You're like, oh, parachute, parachute, parachute. Oh, shit. Whack. Parachute opens. For me, it's like right before it opens, I'm thinking every time it didn't open. And that moment is a fucking jolt of real fear, like death fear. You dump your fucking reserve and it flies away? <laughs> right. Do you know what you would do? You know what would go? The green weenie. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, you go right, left, and that motherfucker goes, tink. <laughs> Are you right. out of your fucking mind? Oh, my God. And then your main comes out. But he didn't cut away his main because that's a different system. Nowadays, he would have went right, left, mm-hmm. and the reserve would have went away, and that main would have been fucking gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Green weenie. Green weenie. <laughs> <laughs> the gr- Ooh, what was his name? Do you remember his name? Uh, oh, I got goosebumps, you guys. Right. Oh, man. Bill Stage. Mr. Stage. Mr. Stage, salute. Mm-hmm. Nos vemos, amigo. Okay. Hanging nude around the airplane. This is a this is a bit of me. I'm I'm down with I've got skydiving. pictures. Yeah. I've got pictures. <laughs> the whole internet has yeah. pictures. <laughs> Do we have any? Do we have any pictures? I'll show it to the camera. <laughs> oh, my phone died. You're so lucky. Yeah, I uh, I heard a lot about those pictures, but you know you're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Hanging nude around the airplane. This was my worst, scariest, and most dangerous jump ever. It was a demo into the Treehouse Nude Ranch in DeVore, California for the Miss Nude USA pageant that they held every year. Skydiving <laughs> used to be so rad. Right? <laughs> it's not like that anymore, man. I was the only female member of Pat Moorhead's California Aerial Circus Parachute Team. Circus. When making the nude jumps, I wore my gear and tennis shoes and my banner that read Miss Buff Diver. It was a beautiful day in June or July of 1976. I was born in 19... That was my birthday. I was a year later for me. I had jumped into the pageant for a few years, and it was just another nude demo for me. Just another nude demo. (laughs) Ho-hum. Yeah. Skydiving used to be rad. Right? (laughs) Or or so I thought. (laughs) We usually took off from Rialto Airport. Our pilot this year was Bob Jones. Bob Jones. Bob Jones. Who? Who? (laughs) Bob Jones. <laughs> he was he was the only pilot I felt comfortable with besides Jim Fly and W Wilkins. Of course I trusted all the pilots, but Jim and Bob made me feel the most comfortable, probably because out of my 997 jumps, they were the ones who flew me the most. We had Pat Moorhead, Leroy Howe, Dave Quigley, Bill Hallman, Jerry Kinley, and Ron Durham on the load that year. Usually I went out last so that all eyes would be on me and the cameras too. I was such a camera whore back then. <laughs> we okay. all are. We're all camera whores. Are you kidding me? Okay, I looked good naked at 110 pounds. That was with gear on, too. Maybe I weighed 105, and my gear back then was probably another 25 pounds or so. I jumped a piggyback. An altitude everyone else bailed out, leaving me and Bob Jones, our incredible one-eyed pilot. I took the plane around for a solo pass. On jump run, I yelled for a cut climbed out on the top rung of the ladder. Ladder? This is a 182. Oh, okay. 
Uh, turned. Ladder. Turned. <laughs> ladder. Fucking ladder. Where are they jumping? <laughs> right? Turned to my right to dive and suddenly felt a tremendous tug and incredible pain on my right leg. I got my bearings and looked up. I was truly startled when I saw that I was hanging upside down from the ladder. Nude. Ah, nude. nude. And let's find that jump, Jackie. Apparently, when I turned to jump, the my jump right ladder. leg slipped and went the through the jump. rung. Okay. And and why is there a ladder on a plane what is what I want to know. Is this? Right? And I was now hanging from the ladder. I from looked, her foot. <laughs> yeah. I looked in the plane, and Bob was also shocked. He couldn't help me because he had to fly the plane. Right. We were alone in this crisis. I just knew that I had to get my leg unstuck to get off the plane. Millions of things went through my head. I couldn't land with the plane, so I got in position to do some pull-ups. It was the only option I could think of. If you can imagine yourself as a child hanging on the bars at school, upside down by your knees, naked, and then letting the left one go, that is the position I was in. Mm. Buck naked, too, plus the weight of my gear on that leg, which is my bum leg that I fractured in a car accident in 1970 before I ever jumped. Let of it play while it she is. reads. Let it play while she reads. I was really hurting now and thinking my old fractured femur might snap. I prayed to God to give me the strength to get off that ladder, and all the while oh, Bob flew a straight jump oh, run. She's hanging from her bad leg. <sighs> ah. It's like what you were saying, like to the point where you just don't feel fear anymore. You don't care anymore. Right. Oh. oh. Like this look right now, this is somebody hanging from their fucking leg. This is not oh, the same man. thing. The this is a Friday freak out. Yeah. Pretty much, but she's, no, her leg, look, this is a booty stuck on something. Mm -hmm. So hopefully fabric and tear. It sounds like her leg is between a ladder like, rung. It's what like wedged in there. has a ladder there a mounted ladder? to the fucking door? <laughs> right. That doesn't sound the aerodynamic fuck? at all. No. Um, a straight jump run. To the, I went down the slide off the plane. <laughs> Actually, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> slide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bob flew a straight jump run from the treehouse toward Glen Helen Regional Park, just a few miles away. It was time to become Wonder Woman. I squared myself up the best I could and mustered every ounce of strength to pull myself up. I pulled up, but I couldn't even touch the ladder. Poor Bob was watching me struggle, and by the look on his face, he was truly feeling helpless. I tried again a couple of times, maybe more, and kept failing. My rig felt like it weighed a thousand pounds now. Jesus Christ. After about six tries, I had no idea where we were and didn't really care. I was exhausted. I looked at Bob. Neither of us said a word. We just sent panicked, helpless glances back and forth. I do know one thing for sure. Bob certainly had a good look at my bod. <laughs> She's naked that's upside what's, down. That's what's on her mind open. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I said to myself, I'm not going to die today. I focused on what I uh. needed to do, pull myself up high enough to grab at least one part of the ladder. Uh -huh. If I can get hold of the ladder, I thought I can inch my way up to the point where can I can free my leg. Pain. Can you imagine the pain pulling against your own leg to reach the ladder? Finally, I did it and took hold of the ladder. I inched my way up, being very careful not to lose my grip. If that happened, I was done for. I got to the point where I could remove my leg, but which by now was throbbing from the ladder. Right. I was in a lot of pain, but gave Bob one last look as I freed my leg and let go. I okay. looked around to see that the treehouse was pretty far away, so I dumped high about four grand. Bob must have gained a little altitude in the ordeal, and I was thankful because I needed it to get back to the target. After opening, I proceeded to fly to the landing area. I landed, and everybody was wondering why I was so far away on exit. I told the story as they helped me with my gear. Someone always took my gear when I landed and then put on my banner. I went straight to the bathroom and collapsed on the toilet. <laughs> I was uh, crying in agony and thankful I had made it. Then I got myself together and limped straight to the nearest beer and chair. Uh. Later, as was traditional, they called up the skydivers to present us with trophies. I limped up there and explained my ordeal to all the naked people. By now, the backside of my knee was back in blue, black and blue, and the bruise was about the size of a dinner plate. I proceeded to drink mass quantities and was doing what I could to smile through the pain. I remembered Moorhead telling us that even if we break a leg on a demo, to get up and walk away smiling. Yes, sir, Captain Pat. Sandy Harper Callahan. Yeah, it on Sandy Harper Callahan. And that whole story, this motherfucker's still hanging from the 182. Mm -hmm. So this is a wingsuiter that tried to leave and got stuck on the step, and he's just highlighting our story. Mm -hmm. Wazzy Circus Radio, party people, keep your head on a swivel. Slow down before you pull. Look out for each other, man. Slow down before you pull. Flare all the way down. I love you guys. Um, I'm going to release the Costa Rica footage next. We got more shows. 
Um, thank you very much. Keep skydiving. Keep supporting us. Support your local free flyer. Go get in the tunnel, man. No matter what they're charging, it's worth it. <laughs> Winnie Jones, anything else? How we find you? How we find? You? How we follow your adventures? You on Instagram or anything like that? You know, I don't really do social nah, she's media. She's better than you. That's why. She's better than you. <laughs> but one of these days, I am going to start doing social media. And I've already nailed down the name. It's Amateur Badass. Amateur Badass. So. You got it? Saved? Yeah. Yep. Like, yep. There's no other Amateur Badasses? No. All right. Amateur Badass. Yo, Wazzy Circus, professional badasses. I'll holler at y'all next week, son. Holla. <laughs> oh, where it goes. That was a good one. Uh, wasn't that fun? Yeah. How long was it, Mama? Let's go!